guys welcome back to my channel so it's a girl and beauty artistry and today I have for you a little unboxing so I bought this package from Kiki Ever Naturals and this is their mini me 7 set so it was 150 and I paid $20 for shipping so 170 in total I spent right here and it came in this cute little package with their logo on the front and yeah there's my information back here so yeah, I bought this, when I bought this, it took, let me see, I think it took like three to five business days to get to me, but it wasn't, it was, it wasn't that long wait, I don't believe so, but yeah, and like the delivery service was really nice, they called me to, you know, to make sure I was at the location I put, and you know, and it delivered straight to me for $20, so yeah, that was rather the cheapest delivery I ever paid for in my life, except for free. Okay, so yeah, so this is the package from Kiki Ever Naturals. It is their Mini Me 7. And I'm just going to show you guys what's going on inside here. I have not opened it as yet. So yeah. So you all, this is the first time I've seen it as well. Alright, so it is open. Yours like inside the box, one around next. So let me see if I can show you all my sights. Right, so that's what it's looking like inside there. I'm gonna pull out the cards first. Oh, look, they have a thank you card for their customers, y'all. This is cute. All right, so Kiki Ever Naturals, all natural yet so magical. Dear customer, thank you for your purchase and support of our business. We hope, you, we hope you love your products as we aim for your satisfaction. Help us grow our brand if you are happy with your new Kiki Ever Naturals products by placing your feedback on our social media pages. Supreme Moisture at last, y'all. Here. I forgot to mention this is a local brand, so yeah. It is based here in Trinidad and Tobago, I guess. Yeah, and it does delivery, you know, locally. I don't know if it does do international delivery, I, need to, I, didn't, I didn't check. But yeah, I know for sure that they deliver local because they deliver to me. So yeah, this is the thank you card. What else do you have inside here? Ooh, it also have like about us and our story. This is you could post on social media and tag them. Yo, this is really cute. Okay, so about us. Kiki Ever Naturals is a trend based small business that engineers all natural, organic, vegan-friendly hair care products for men, women, and children. Our formulas are clean, lightweight, and free of harmful ingredients. The best ingredients are sourced for natural, curly, kinky, coily, and wavy hair, and will continue to provide our customers with the best. Our hair transforming products stimulates hair follicles to encourage hair growth, by also preventing breakage, hair fall, increasing hair volume, while giving that extra boost of moisture and hydration to the hair. They Therefore, providing shine, luster, softness, manageability, and most of all, balances the pH to the hair. Alright, y'all. This is really nice. Like, it have a little leaflet with all the info. It also have their story. I'm going to just give you all, like, a little summary. So, it was developed in 2017 by Kimberly Theodore, a civil engineer who has over 15 years experience in cosmetology. Yeah. Alright, so what else we have inside here? I also have my bell. So they it, they do have like a website. I think it's with ClickSmart. You can just click the link in the bio and go online and purchase it straight. And you input like your address and number and all of that. And delivery straight to you. Right, so this is my bill for 170 And yeah, let me watch your products. Oh my hand reaching first. Okay, so first up. I grab this one. This is the hibiscus and knee moisturizing spray. Oh, this stuff sounds really nice. So this is the hibiscus and knee moisturizing spray. This is two fluid ounces this size. I, th I think everything will be two fluid ounces. Alright. So it's a moisturizing spray. Up next is this one. This is the Cocoa Pine Twist and Curl Jelly. 
pineapple, turmeric, mango, coconut, ginger, and lime. It's also two fluid ounces. So this is a twist and curl jelly. Then we have, oh y'all, this looking fancy. Then we have this one. This one is a black soap and coconut milk moisturizing shampoo. Yo. I don't think I ever use black soap. I really, I never tried like as a face wash, as a shampoo or anything. So it'd be nice to see like how it is. And this one. This is the Jasmine Chai Su. I hope I pronounced that correct. Curl Definer is flaxseed and jasmine curl custard. This is the Luscious Curls Creamy Leave-In Conditioner with Shea and Mango Butter, Coconut Milk, Aloe Vera, Marshmallow Root. This one is the Aloe Coco Twist Moisturizing Hair Milk. So it have Aloe Vera, Flaxseed, Coconut Milk, Fenugreek, Ginger, Marshmallow Root. It have like a lot of moisturizing products. Like we have a lot of options here for what we want to use and this one is the conditioner it do have a fancy label like the rest but yeah it mark conditioner so this is the conditioner and my package is now empty all right y'all so these are all seven of the products I'm pretty sure most of these products are just going to be like one use for me but it's like this mini seven is like a pretty good buy if you just want to try all the products to see what going to work for you here before you buy like the full size version so yeah I think this is really good so I will definitely be testing out each one to figure out you know which one works the best for my hair and then I'll be purchasing the full size in that product I'll definitely go and try the shampoo and conditioner for y'all this conditioner got me one use the shampoo might give me like a two use of it depending well y'all see i'll go and try the shampoo and conditioner for y'all and then i want to put me in some like little mini braids yeah so i'll be using the leave-in conditioner or the moisturizing hair milk today and i'll be following that up with the coco pine twistkel jelly and then i'll refresh it with the moisturizing spray and that's what i'm gonna show you guys today so yeah all right guys so this is my official wash day swimsuit i got it from inaliva swimwear and shameless self promo you can use my code nlbeauty10 to get 10 percent off all that stuff on their website i'll link it in the description down below okay so i'm obviously starting with the shampoo the shampoo for the first thing that hit me was it smelled really nice you know it smelled like um chocolate and mint it had a really nice smell and it was a thick consistency it wasn't overly runny and i don't know if it was because of the black soap it had like chunks and stuff at the bottom but yeah just shake that up and it was thick the only thing was that i was trying really hard to get it to ladder and like y'all it didn't want a ladder i had to use the whole bottle before i got some kind of ladder going on on my head i rinsed it out and the shampoo left my hair feeling really moisturized and like i didn't even need to apply conditioner moving on to conditioner the conditioner was really thick and i like that but it had like minimal to no slip so it was really hard for me to detangle my hair using this conditioner and it just didn't do all that much for my hair i also didn't really like the smell I did these twists and left the conditioner in while I did some chores. I surprisingly did not use oil. I only used like, well, the same half. Well, it's a little more than half. Not three quarters, a little more than half. 
surprise when you add it and you see what water on my hand. Alright guys, so I just washed all the conditioner out of my hair and there was any conditioner. Although it really wasn't all that moisturizing or detangling for me. So I didn't really like it all that much. But I really like the shampoo. The smell the ma the smell the smell Selma and the shampoo. Right, so I'm gonna be doing some mini braids. I'm going to moisturize with the, the leave-in conditioner, the creamy leave-in conditioner, and then seal with the cocoa pine twist curl jelly for my braids. Has a pleasant smell. It does feel really moisturizing. Now I'm going in with the curl jelly. This looks really thick. If there's one thing I like so far, the products really thick. This and the living condition kind of smells the same. Yo, this thing yellow. Alright, yo, so the products are really moisturizing. My hair does feel really nice. So, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. with my braids these are just like an in-between style but this I want to do with my hair all right so on to the products I use four to the seven products that is the shampoo the conditioner the, the leave-in conditioner and the twist ankle jelly surprisingly I did not use all, all of the silent products Alright, so let me start with the shampoo. I'm gonna rate this uh, I eight out of that. I really like the smell. I really like how it was moisturizing on I me mean, here. It claims to be a moisturizing shampoo and it was actually moisturizing. And I just really like the shampoo. The only thing I didn't like about it was the ladder. I wanted more of a ladder. I just prefer more of a ladder when I shampoo in my hair. It'll just be fun. But yeah, I definitely read this like a uh, eight out of ten. I might definitely purchase this in a bigger size again. Just you know. Cause it was nice. It was it was honestly nice on you all. This it's smell real good. It's more like chocolate almond you all. It's more real good. Moving on to the conditioner next. Um I didn't really like the conditioner all that much. I'll give it like a three out of ten. It didn't have that much slip. It didn't really leave my hair feeling moisturized or hydrated or anything like that. And I just I just it didn't really do anything for my hair. Alright, up next we have the leave-in conditioner. What do you mean this way? I think I'll give this an 8 as well. I like the leave-in conditioner. It like, you didn't even need to use a lot to like moisturize it here. A little bit went along with this. As you can see, like, 
this is where the bottle reach after putting it on my whole head and that's what's how small this bottle looks so yeah, I actually really like the leave-in conditioner I might definitely purchase this in a bigger size it was moisturized and the leave-in conditioner had a lot of slip and it was just a good leave-in conditioner like all in all alright so up next is the Coco Pine Twist Curl Jelly I'll give this a 5 I'll give it a 5 for a twist and curl jelly, I just, it had a thick consistency, but I still, I expect it to be thicker. Like, when I squeeze it out into my hand and then rub my hands together, it, like, like, dissolve. I didn't get, like, that thick kind of consistency that I really need to, like, seal in my typo here. I didn't really get that from this. But it was good as, in terms of, like, moisturizer and stuff. Just like the leave-in conditioner, it's a good moisturizer. But I'm not really sure if it was, like, thick enough, like, to seal in all that moisture. So we'll see how my hair feels tomorrow, if it dries out tomorrow or what. Yeah, and the next thing I didn't like is the color, while very vibrant and pretty, it stained my fingernails yellow. So it, I feel like it has turmeric or something in it probably. Yep, look at the ingredients, it has turmeric. So that accounts with bright yellow. And it did stain my fingernails, so I didn't really like that. But it was, these products was nice. So I use these four and y'all can check me back for a video or oh, if I don't make a video in the comment section down below for my thoughts on the other three yeah. products. I'll definitely be using the hibiscus, hibiscus and the moisturizing spray to refresh my brain just like spritz it in the morning and we'll see how that feeling afterwards. And this, this one's smells around nice too. Yeah, this one have a real nice smell as well. So yeah, I'll definitely be using the Hibiscus and Neem Spray to moisturize my hair and refresh my braids. And I'll use the, the Curl Custard and the Silent Milk, I believe. Yeah, the moisturizing hair milk. I'll use the super wash and go and something and test them out. But you can definitely look out for my thoughts on the other products in the comment section down below. Or if I do our next video, you will see them. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. These were my thoughts on the Kiki Ever Naturals Mini Me 7, Mini 7, the Kiki Ever Naturals Mini 7 products. Yeah, these were my thoughts on those products. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, see you next time.